late. I'm so sorry I'm late. I've had the worst morning ever <laughs> because I forgot to set my alarm clock. I left my keys in my car and I couldn't find a parking space. And I Don't worry about it. It's okay. While I was waiting, I found this great book about flash floods. That last big rain caused the stream near my house to wash over its banks and into my neighbor's yard. So I wanted a little more info on floods. But I also noticed that it's a great example of cause and effect text structure. I noticed another effect of your crazy morning. You're wearing two different shoes. Hold that thought. Will this book raise Reed's awareness of floods? Will the causes of Erin's hectic day continue to affect her choices in fashion? Join the knowledge seekers as they wade through devastating floods while raising their awareness of cause and effect text structure in this episode of Thinking Aloud. What do you mean by cause and effect? Let me show you. Cause and effect text structure is what authors use to describe an event. What causes or makes that event happen and the effect or the result of that event. Okay, but what's with that diagram? It's a graphic organizer. It helps you visualize how something causes an event to happen, which results in an effect. I draw them all the time when I read. Wow, that's helpful. And check this out. You can find cause-effect relationships everywhere. A boy hits a home run far across the field. It causes a window to break. We can also say that the window broke as an effect of the ball hitting it. In the real world, a cause always comes before the effect. In writing, however, an author may tell you the cause first, or they may tell you the effect first. The author may say the character had a flat tire, which is an effect caused by driving over the nail. Cool. What's not cool is how fast my neighbor's yard flooded. Listen to this section titled Flash Floods. A sunny afternoon quickly melts a blanket of snow high in the mountains, creating cascading streams. Storm clouds open up and dump an intense torrent of rain during a thunderstorm overflowing creek beds. A strained levee, holding back the ocean waves, gives way in the middle of the night. A dam of ice cracks, allowing river water to rush out of control. Conditions that bring about a sudden rise of water may result in a devastating flash flood. With little warning, flash floods can spill over the banks of rivers and creeks and send a careening wall of debris-filled water into low-lying communities. That's pretty intense. She's got that right. Authors who write well use signal words like these to help us identify what text structure they're using. Some signal words that show events and their causes include because, if, so, or the result of. Now, let's observe how the seekers slowed down their thinking while they're reading to reflect on the author's use of cause and effect text structure. Interesting. I realize that the author is talking about flash floods from the section title. This helps me predict what I'll be reading about. I wonder what causes flash floods. Well, just look at the signal words. The words result in signal a cause-effect relationship. The conditions that bring about a sudden rise of water result in or cause a devastating flash flood, which is the effect. When I reread the first paragraph, I understand what those conditions are. Quickly melting snow, torrential rainfall, broken levees, and ice dam failure are all causes of flash floods. The signal words help me notice the important ideas the author wants to convey. My graphic organizer of this passage's text structure would look like this. Here are the causes, and here's the effect. Because there are multiple causes that result in a single effect, I use a multiple causes single effect organizer. As you were reading, I was thinking of creating a graphic, graphic organizer. organizer. <laughs> yeah, and come to think of it, my wild morning deserves an organizer all of its own. The multiple causes are forgetting to set my alarm clock, locking my keys in my car, and not finding a parking space. 
The single effect was that I was late getting to the library this morning. Hey, not bad. Thanks. Erin used graphic organizers to help get her day back on track, but there still is much for Reed to learn about deadly floods and the importance of cause-effect text structure. Remember, you too can be a knowledge seeker if you think about cause-effect relationships, identify signal words, and create graphic organizers. Don't get caught unprepared. Be sure to view the next episode of Thinking Aloud.